Welcome back everyone. The day has finally arrived. We're going to get this John Deere tractor finished up. It's the final assembly video. Hope you've enjoyed this series. Stick around. We'll get it done. Move on to the next project. I've already got the seat brackets bolted to the seat pan. When I mock this up, there's about a million holes in that seat. It was easier just to find it, to leave it on the ones that I wanted it on once I got it there. This is a two-person job. The seat brackets have to be put on the pan before you put the pan on the tractor. Because once it's on there, it's tied up against the gas tank and you cannot get at these bolts. Okay, the seat's mounted on the pan. And now we're going to get the pan down on the tractor. sitting where it needs to be. There's two nuts going back behind the seat and three bolts go up front to hold it on. for the hydro bypass. It's one where you push down on it, you can roll the tractor back and forth. When it's disengaged, it will not move. So that's how you move it if the tractor wouldn't run or start or something. I'll try and get the towel piece put on. This just has two pegs that line up and holes on the back and then there's two bolts in front is all that holds that on. Now the next thing we'll install is the bezels for the parking brake and the deck height adjustment. Each one of these are just held in place with one screw. And the knob can go on that. Parking brake engaged. Parking brake disengaged.
there should be a safety decal that goes right there, but they're no longer available. Next, I can install the bezel for the shifter. That's held in place with a couple brackets underneath. And the shifter knob can go on. I'll take care of the seat pan. Next we're going to install the grill and headlights, the front bumper. The front bumper pivots, that's how the hood actually mounts to the tractor. together without destroying something. Okay, that fits on there like so. This piece goes up under the hood. It's kind of like the air intake for the cooling air. There's a rubber gasket that goes around this hole. It sits down on top of the engine. We'll get that together. I'll show you where it fits. This bracket will be bolted to the inside of the hood. It will sit right down on top of the engine. That way the air can come in without getting a bunch of debris sucked in. But there's a bracket here and a bracket that goes by the battery that latches the hood together. Next thing to do is bolt the hood on. side with the bushing and the nut. Get those tightened up and that'll be the last of the assembly. Well I lied to you. This air intake piece needs to go on first. Those brackets are on and go ahead and run the wiring harness for the headlights. Get them hooked up. Now that the hood's on and adjusted, ready for the finishing touch.
Good. Hey, folks, thanks for sticking around to watch the restoration videos of this tractor. Stick around for my next series. Don't forget to subscribe, like, 